question because, um, you know, I think first district parents, um, you know, first district has some good schools and parents are very worried about middle school and they're very worried about high school just like other parents from around the city. But the truth is Albert Hill has a great honors program and has a great AP program. Um, we need to get first district parents involved in, in Albert Hill and um, have the, the kids go in there. The truth is that What's good for first district schools is also good for the rest of the city schools and vice versa. And so it, when we can make these improvements to the, to the school system and actually have the parental input and, and bring some accountability to the schools and um, have good principals in place that can have good teachers and, and have accountability on the ground, then that, it's a rising tide and a rising tide floats all boats. It'll improve the quality of first district schools, but it'll also improve the quality of other schools throughout the city. And in turn, you know, we have a lot of pressure on, on Fox and Munford, and, and um, people want to get into these schools because they feel like they're great schools. Well, the truth is, if we make other schools as good or better or improve the, the quality of education in those schools, um, you know, that helps out first district schools and not being able to, uh, not having to turn people away and not having to, you know, Munford's over capacity. It's, um, the principal has um, said that, that he feels like it's okay to have that, that many kids in there, but when you look at the functional capacity of, of Mary Munford, it's 470 kids mm -hmm. and there are 520 there. Uh, last year there were 522. Um, and that's in a district where we have overall uh, excess capacity, but what's good for, for the rest of the city is also good for the first. Uh, it's really important that the person who is going to be on the school board in the first district uh, doesn't just focus like a laser beam on the schools in the first district, but that we have a global city-wide approach uh, to really raising the bar. Um, it is uh, fundamental to the success of these schools, whether they are Mary Munford, Albert Hill, or TJ, or they are a, a school anywhere else in the city, that we have the very best leaders in our principals and the very best teachers in our classrooms because being married to a teacher I know that that is what is going to improve these schools it's going to improve academic academic outcomes for kids all across the city we have got to make sure that we can pay our teachers competitively or better than the counties in order to attract and retain the very best and the very brightest. And that's just getting back to the fundamentals. That is not just for the first district, but that is citywide. We've also got to make sure that when kids are graduating, they are either college bound or career ready. I think there's unfortunately been much of a focus on just being college bound. And that there are a lot of kids in Richmond City Schools for I don't know how many years who are never going to know that they could be phenomenal business owners because they were not given the direction and the vocational opportunities to learn a skill or a trade so that the day after they graduate they can go out and earn money at a good job. And so we have got to get back to focusing on those fundamentals of the best teachers and the best principals and getting kids ready to be college bound or career ready. Thank you.